Alrighty, so I've already ran the speed test macro a handful of times. Uh, I managed to find the guide so I could just show you guys what I'm going off of. And I'll definitely add this to the description, but this is the macro that he gives. It's called test speed. And basically, you give it a maximum speed that you want your printer to go, the number of times you want it to test that speed, and the acceleration that you also want to be tested with that speed, and number of iterations, and also minimum cruise ratio. And uh, I think bound is how close it gets to the edge. So for example, my printer's 120 millimeters cubed, so I think it does a movement that's only a hundred millimeters like a square but you guys will see that on the camera in a minute when I run the macro so what I've been testing I got up to 30,000 acceleration but when I tried to increase my speed over 500 millimeters per second which is what my current maximum is I started instantly running into issues and the issues that I'm talking about are right here. When you check the stepper, you gotta check if it's skipping steps. So if the number is relatively close, I'm doing it if it's within 10. I don't know what the actual correct amount is, but that's what I'm going off of. If it's within 10, then I can keep increasing the speed. If I hear anything bad, then I stop it, slow it down. Or if these numbers get too far apart. So with that said, let's run this. I'm gonna add the 500 just so that it's clear. We're gonna start with one iteration. Let's go 35,000. We'll leave the minimum cruise ratio normal, the bounds normal. Send. Yeah, something did just fall off the printer because I had stuff sitting on top of the printer. Not my brightest idea, but whatever. So we got our first set of, okay, we got all of our numbers. So X 3,000, or 38,000, 38,000, 30,000. Okay. So based on this, we're good to push the speed, I think, from what I understand. I'll be honest, I did not heat soak the printer. But I just, I wanted to get a, a baseline number right now. Yeah, this one's you experience skip it. Do they give an actual number? Oh, okay. So if you're running, da, 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 da. I can work with that. I'm running 64. Okay. So based on that, oh, I can push it a lot. Speed. It's time for speed. Um. I'm just going to keep going up by 5,000 each time. Let's go with three iterations this time. Or actually, two iterations. Speed the same, everything else the same. Let's go.
Was that the first iteration? Or is it going to do it again? Because if it's going to do it... Well, if that was the first iteration, it's going to do it again. Or is that it? Because I need to cancel it before it does it again. Okay, it's done. That one failed. I'm assuming you could hear slash see that the the print head hit into stuff. And yeah, these numbers are very, very far apart. So based on that, we need to go back to 35 and test that. Maybe I haven't, maybe I just need to test with more iterations. Let's try 30,000 with three iterations. Now I'm worried I just did this wrong. Okay, we literally got exactly 10 off for the X stepper and we got the exact same number for the Y stepper motor. Okay, great. Let's push it more. Seems to be working out. Come on, come on. Let's see what we got. Okay. So eight off on the X and four off on the Y. Huh. Strange that when I tried 40,000, it didn't work, but we're able to get up to 35 with five iterations. I didn't expect it to be such a hard, like, cutoff. But then again, I've never tuned a printer up to this speed, so let's try 38. sounds very bad sounds very bad sounds okay so 35 seems to be our our safe limit um above 35 there's bad sounds <laughs> uh i think that was the stepper motor skipping but i'm not entirely sure Interesting. Okay.
I need to get rid of the, the confirm on the emergency stop. That's really pissing me off. Alrighty, let's see the numbers for 36,000. Come on. Come on. Give me the numbers. So the X is off by four. Should I be worried that the Y is negative? The fuck? Oh, no. This is fine. They're negative there. Uh, da, 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 da. So then Y is off by two. That's so strange that 38, it just like insta fails. Let's try 37.5. I don't think I'm gonna push it any past this. I mean, I'm I'm 500 away from where it already failed at, so a little bit concerned. So, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? And the X were off by five, and the Y were off by one. Why did the 38,000 fail? That one was two iterations, right? Oh, it was 40,000 that failed. Or did 38 also fail? Oh yeah, 38 is when I had to uh, emergency stop it. Okay. Strange. All right. Well, I am happy with this number, to be honest. This is awesome. If I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna come here and paste. And I'm going to give it a safety margin <laughs> like that. That seems about right. Cool. Save and restart. And yeah, I think that's going to be all for this video. Just wanted to so rebuilding the Pico and then a little bit of speed tuning in the block. I'm going to go ahead and cut myself off. Um, I configured this Pico on a Mew and then the belt snapped out of the winch. So I just cut up a new belt and I got to do that. I might make a little short about that. Not too sure yet. But in the meantime, for the acceleration, I settled on 35,000 for my Voron V0. Um, I realized it could get to about 37.5 if I really wanted to push it, but I wanted a bit of a safety margin and this seemed like a better value. So that's what it's at. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.